Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Tailmon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles and more. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. Want to show off your love for Tailmon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. Hello everyone and welcome back to another 50 keys, 50 decks episode. Today we're going to be playing with Psychic Mew3, which is going to be um, very scary to utilize for sure, but we'll see what we can do. Now, my opponent is choosing who goes first. They decide to go first, which I am uh, technically okay with because I do want to use Rotom on turn one. And this hand is gonna be costly if I end up having to discard my Marnies, but it is what it is. Um, see a Crobat start for my opponent. They did choose to go first, so that might be an indication that they're playing ADP. They are going to Quick Ball, they discard a Scoop of Net, so that gives us a little bit of information and that means they're not playing ADP. We are up against Sentiscord, Scorch, okay. So Sentiscord Scorch definitely a problematic matchup because of the energy, yeah. the energy issues, if you will. Okay, so definitely using that, definitely doing this, and then I think I go for the Rotom right here just to get energy on board, right? Because I have so many ways to find Mew3 and whatnot that I think that's definitely the way to go. So I'll do that. And no, I shouldn't attach, I should just research, get energy into a discard pile. I do find another energy. <laughs> I will lose two bosses orders in the process, however. But I'm pretty sure it's what I have to do. Like I need to get two energy attachments on the V2. And my Jirachi GX being prized means I can't use the actual attack. Okay. Yeah. That's what I have to do, unfortunately. All right. So we're gonna do this, and we're gonna go ahead and data change, another energy. Okay, so we will get the double energies, which is what we were hoping for. Now, best case scenario, my opponent doesn't knock me out. Um, seems very unlikely, right? Very, very unlikely. But hey, there's a chance, you know? There's definitely a chance. All right, I do have Cynthia Caitlin. That should prove a little useful to see the welder to start off. Only for one, saving the attachment possibly for the Crobat. Seeing a pass here would be absolutely fantastic, right? Absolutely fantastic. Not likely, but fantastic. <laughs> See the Volk. And I mean, the more cards my opponent plays down, the better, I guess. Because then the my plan might actually be, if I get an energy, my plan might be to Night Watch, right? And start applying pressure that way. Three cards, discards a fire. Perhaps two more of them. He hasn't attached yet. There's the attachment, and then we see a pass, okay. So, pretty good overall. That's a really good top deck as well, that guarantees me the energy. Okay, so I, I should do this correctly. I'll discard that guy, right? And then I'll go ahead and, uh, I'll do this, discarding this, and then probably just grabbing boss, right? To have pressure. Okay, so I get the energy, I'll do this, 
I'll definitely attach. I feel like I should save this switch just in case I can just retreat here. And then I'll use one of these to get a Mew 3. Malana could also be really useful. So we're not gonna use the stadium. I'm just gonna night watch. Yeah. And we know my opponent had my opponent has one energy in his hand. Oof. Okay, so we take over the welder and the switch. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So we know one of the cards is energy. What is the other one? What was my opponent's top deck? There's a fire gone. There's a fire obtained. There's an attachment. Okay, so generally, should I just go boss here and pressure? Should I just go boss here and pressure or should I take the two prizes? I feel like I should take the two prizes for now. Get rid of the switch. I'm not happy, but I do need attachments. I do need attachments. Oh, wait, you know what? I can kill this into Scorch with this guy, with Cosmic Burn. I just realized that. Oh my gosh. I think I should do that. That means I can't use Cosmic Burn next turn. That's fine. Yeah. Cosmic Burn. Take that guy out. And then if he removes the energy, that's fine, right? One card hand and it didn't do anything. We don't know what it is, but um, yeah, like it's definitely not a good card based on the fact that they didn't immediately promote this guy. Okay, they promote the Volk, that's okay. Because then that means after I kill the Volk, all I need is to KO one VMAX. Drachi was the top deck, that's fine. Fire Crystal, right. Oof, imagine if I had another boss right here. I could just KO that guy. That would actually be pretty good. If I had Nagnadel, well, I do have Nagnadel, but I don't want to discard energies, though. I definitely don't want to discard energies. Okay, I don't want to Marty. I do want to attach more energy, though. On to this guy. And yeah, pretty sure I just Nightwatch here. Two fires gone, yeah, which we knew. Are we going to get a point? I was predicting zero for for this deck myself. But we're definitely in, in a really good spot to get more than that. So my opponent top decks, Stella Wishes into a scoop up net. So what they could do is scoop up net. Oh, okay, so their top deck was quick ball. Unfortunate, but it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Okay, so we see the second Crobat here. Maybe not getting the Crobat will end up hurting me. Because now they could actually... Oh no, they can't, they already attach, right? And I still have my GX attack, so if they attack me, then they just get KO'd. They attack me, they just get KO'd. Okay, if they evolve, if they commit to the evolution, I'm pretty sure I just snipe, right? I go attach here and just snipe. Okay, they are committing big time, right there. And there's the evolution, yeah. I'm just gonna commit to the 170, or if they attack me, they lose. Oh, wow. They, they already attached, right? They already attached. I mean, they could just not attack, right? But then I just GX and remove all their energy and it's like, it's not the same, but it's almost the same. So what's the plan here? Maybe they haven't attached and I'm thinking about this wrong. Maybe they haven't attached. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
I don't know why I'm counting. <laughs> Item cards, I was thinking trash launch for a second there. Yeah, so if they attack me, they lose. If they don't attack me, they probably still lose. Because I just go Cosmic Burn to 30. Well, then if they heal, that would be a problem. I hope they forget and just attack me, though. I hope they forget and they just attack me. Great catcher, okay. That's fair. Okay. I mean, this doesn't change anything though. This actually doesn't change anything. All right, I think we're good here. I think we are good to go, okay. So, I mean, not exactly, right? Not exactly, but. So let me think this through. The stamp doesn't matter anymore. What matters is finding energy. That's all that matters. So I go Malolana away this and the stamp. Right? Yeah. And then this guy has free retreat, so I can decide what I want to do. Okay, I need to attach energy though, for sure. Is there any Pokemon left in my deck? Yes, that I don't want. Yes. This guy. And then I just get rid of that for that. And then I go attach. And then I retreat. And I go Cosmic Burn. Right? So now even if, like, well, if they Malolana, I think we're good. Like, they KO this. One attachment gets me the KO. If they stab me to three, I have three random cards right now. All I need is a Psychic, I have the Dene, Marnie, and Reinforce, all of which are out to an energy. Um, I still have three researches available. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven energy out of 11, so I have four energy left. Do have decently sized deck. I think we got this. I think we got this one. Okay, so what they could do, right, is have Heatran. If they have Heatran, GX, and they KO me with Heatran, that would be a problem. That would indeed be a problem. However, I could take a turn to go like attach and then GX with Poltergeist, Pol uh, four house I mean, and then just snipe this guy, so. Okay, attach to a bench, they're dead at changing. Removing my energy doesn't really change anything. Because they need to take away my access to energy as well. Yeah, I think we have this one. Stamp, that's fine. Like three random cards into three random cards, two energies and an ultigo. So now I even have access to bosses orders. <sighs> Mew3 gets a point. Nice. Mew3 gets a point. Psychic Mew3 gets a point. I don't want to talk about the other games, but I really want to talk about the other games. <laughs> I really want to talk about the other games. Like the other keys. But I'm not going to spoil you. Want to see how I'm doing? Check the other videos. Okay. Now this is taking way too long. See the switch. Yeah, like they removed the energy, but I have the stadium. And now I just snipe with Magnadel for the win. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Venom shots. Bye bye. Maybe they thought I would forget. I don't know. Um, Alright.
pretty good. Pretty good. Um, based on the recent video I made on Psychic Mew 3, I was honestly expecting zero points. But I'll take the point, you know, I'll take the point. I will take the point maybe more. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, obviously my opponent's bad hand helped. And then the fact that I was able to night watch away that clutch um, welder and switch was really good. Although they did have three cards, right? Um, so I had a 66% chance, probably more, at hitting the welder. Um, because you choose, well, I don't know, 60, at least 66%. Um, or maybe less, actually. I don't know. I can't do maths right now. I'm an engineer, but I forgot everything about engineering a long time ago. Anyways, I'll be back with the next round. All right, we are back with the next round of the tournament against the Green Arrow, the superhero. The Green Arrow 18. All right. Lose a coin flip. <clears throat> Point debating whether to go first or second or not paying attention. Yeah, and that happens to me all the time. <laughs> right, they choose to go first. We'll take that. Uh, decent start. Decent start for sure. And we get mulligans. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, look metal. Look metal is gonna be rough because they have psychic resistance. I wish I hadn't started Gengar Q, because then they're gonna remember the Horror House play, right? So they might not actually Intrepid Sword. Okay, they immediately attach, and then they immediately Intrepid Sword. I feel like that's a huge opening right here. Like, I don't see why I wouldn't just try and wreck them right here. Like, I'll still, like, check my decks, you want else is up but that feels like a non-ideal play yeah that feels like a non-ideal play by my opponent can you imagine if we just win by docking them here that would be insane right like that would be pretty pretty crazy that would be pretty crazy right Okay, I'm gonna discard this. I don't know if my opponent's playing Power Plant. All right, so here it goes. You know, like at worst, I'm gonna risk it. Oh, the stadium helps them. Silly Pablo, the stadium helps them. Oh, the stadium helps them. Well, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. And they just go for the Intrepid Sword. They just don't care. Oh, what? They got two energies off of that. What the heck? Okay, well, they didn't even use the stadium. Do you really not have five? One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Let's heckin' go. They had five energies in their hand. If they had just discarded one card with the stadium, they would have survived, so. We're in the finals, somehow. <laughs> I'll be back with the finals. Alright, on to the final against Trombex 0503. Alright, Trombex 0503. Uh, we get to call a coin flip. Lose a coin flip yet again. Yet. Once again, my opponent chooses to go second. I mean, first. Okay, and we start the Rotom now. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. All right. Not the best hand, but we have research straight up. Oof. <laughs> Eternatus. Okay, Eternatus definitely, definitely scary. And the Reset Stamp is definitely not something we wanna see right here. As our top deck. Alright. 
I'm not gonna use the reinforced now. I'm just gonna tele change. Okay. Okay, that's good enough, I guess. So we'll discard that, grab that. And then we'll go like this. Grab that guy. Great, so now I have my two energies in the discard pile. I'll go ahead and touch here and then I'll go Marty. Okay, so it's all gonna be about Trevnor's GX attack. That's gonna be the master plan right here. And therefore, I'm not gonna bench it yet. Well, no, never mind. Yeah, I'm not gonna bench it. I will, however, um, give myself access to it though. Right, just give myself access to that attack. Okay. So, energy assist, one, two. And then if my opponent gets super greedy with a huge hand, then maybe we can punish with Poltergeist, I don't know. And this guy's weak to dark. Oh, wow, what? I mean, that's a switch gone. That's good enough. It's good enough, but also not ideal, for sure. Not ideal, for sure. Oof. Oh my god, it's Hammer's Eternatus, what the heck. Hammer's Poison Eternatus on top of that. Hammer's Poison Eternatus. What a way to just kill the consistency of a deck, you know? <laughs> and they have Weakness Guard, and they have Stamp, and what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? What am I even playing against? What in the world, man? What in the world is this crap? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean... What the heck? <laughs> what is even happening right now? Okay, I'm pretty sure my... My option is still the GX attack. So I'll promote you, because now I might want to power up through with Jirachi. What the heck, man? Okay. Okay, well, I do get the switch. Yeah, I feel like I should use Rotom this turn. I don't even understand what I'm up against. I really don't. I don't even understand what I'm up against. But hey, if you use another switch, then that's really good. Basically, I need both of these to GX and go for a KO on this guy. Yeah, that, <laughs> that guy prevents attacks from attack teams, right? Prevent effects of attacks including damage. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, there's a switch. There's a second switch being used. I mean, I have boss, right? I do have boss to bypass that guy, but I have um, the sniping as well. Okay. This is really odd. Oh my god. That's huge. That is actually huge. They have a zero card hand. I have to go for that. That is a humongous top deck. It's an absolutely humongous top deck. Absolutely humongous top deck. Yeah. Zero card hand, two switches down. 
get me those free three prizes. Come on. Come on, Psychic Mew 3. I have no clue what I'm playing against. Like, why would you play that Sable one? What's the one card? Scoop up net. Perfect. That is a dead Eternatus. That is, uh, and he even attaches to the Eternatus. Perfect. I don't think, yeah. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. Discarding the six seconds, that's fine. He'll obviously promote the attack team, right? So now I need to find uh, Nagnatel to snipe. But I, I will also have access to boss. So if I can snipe one prize and then get back the boss, that would be huge. So I'm gonna thin. I'm gonna thin, just get an energy. I need that Nagnatel. So I any Cherish Ball or the Nagnatel really works out for me here. Really, really works out. So I'll get the boss. Oh, darn it. I used the Viridian. Okay, so I just charge up, right? Through Jirachi. I mean, I have double bots as well, but I'm just gonna use uh, Star Search. Yeah. Oof, using that Viridian, like I thinned one card, but that was not worth it because I took away the option to utilize or to snipe this turn. If I had sniped this turn, I, that would have been game. No, come on. Why do you top deck the peers? Come on. How do you top deck the peers? Wow, they didn't even get Crobat. Okay, well, we have our plan, right? We absolutely have our plan. Okay, so discard this. We're good. I think we got this for sure. I think we absolutely have this now. Go after this guy. Just go Cosmic Burn, take the KO, and then we snipe for a game. What the heck? I was predicting zero points. And now it's turned into a win. What the actual heck? Yeah, like, what does the attack do? Claw Slash 120. Stalking Claws 120 to someone. That's GG. Wow. So, sorry, I apologize to my opponent for calling his deck crap. Like, he made it to the finals. Obviously, that's good. Uh, I'm just surprised at all the techs and different cards that he's playing. Um, it's just completely unorthodox, right? Completely, completely unorthodox. And out of the norm, right? And that surprise factor is probably what got him here. So, props to my opponent on an original deck, for sure. Props to my opponent on an original original deck okay now we go venom shot onto the hoopa that took that first ko and there we go not bad psychic mew3 out here taking names surprisingly i have no clue how i have absolutely no clue how i pulled this off um a stroke of luck for sure um a stroke of misplace also uh, especially against the look metal and Probably my toughest opponent was round one, uh, Mushbird, but he ended up drawing very underwhelmingly. So stroke of luck, stroke of a weird deck list, and my opponent's not drawing too well. And also the look metal player just completely disregarding what uh, Gengar Q did, right? So yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the series. I definitely am. And I'll see you in the next key.